Hey there gorgeous! Happy Frugal Friday to you. I hope that you've had a great week. Today's video is the long anticipated Pantone color of the year. I've had a lot of questions about when this is coming out so I'm very happy to tell you today is the day. So if you've not heard the Pantone color of the year for 2024 is peach. Peach. I think it's peach fuzz. I was excited to see this color for this year because when I've put together these makeup videos in the past I think last year was a pretty difficult color, and then years prior to that it was kind of like, I don't know about this, but peach? I can get on board with peach. So I have a number of really amazing recommendations to share with you in this video. If you're not familiar with this style of video, I do this every year. I provide a majority of drugstore makeup recommendations for those who want to participate in this color theme or they just want to incorporate this color into their makeup looks. Let's first talk about eyes. Now I know when you think of peach makeup, you don't really think about putting it on your eyes. Most people really don't, but peach is such a beautiful color that provides a lot of contrast with your eye color. And it's one of those colors that works for every single eye color out there. If you have blue eyes, green eyes, brown eyes, yes, you can do this too, hazel eyes, peach will make them pop insanely well. And so I have a number of palettes I wanted to share with you that you can try this with. The first one is from Essence and that's their Coral Me Maybe eyeshadow palette. There is one peach shade in here that you can use. It's a matte finish. And what I love about this one is you can use it either on the lid to provide a true amazing pop of color against the eyes or you can use it in the crease. And that's what I love to do with it. I love to put it in the crease softly, blend it out, add a bit of neutral on the lid, and it looks absolutely stunning, stunning. And this palette is four or five dollars, if I'm not mistaken, and really excellent quality. The other one I wanted to mention to you that most of you probably have, I don't know if you can get this palette anymore, but I wanted to mention it, is one from Wet n Wild, and that's the Stop Playing Safe palette. This one, do you remember this one? It came out years ago. And there is a peach shade in here, this one right here, that is perfect for this trend. And what I also love about this palette is there is other neutrals in here that you can mix with that peach shade and it looks great against every eye color imaginable. Now, if you don't wanna go with eyeshadows that are peach colored on your eyes, I have something for you to try that's a little bit different but does provide a beautiful contrast for your eye color. So I was in Walmart recently and I stumbled across these new Epic Smoke liners from the NYX brand and I picked this one up called Fired Up. Now this is peach. It's peach. Some could even say orange, but it's, it's a bright color and it's so easy to apply to the lash line. Very smooth, very creamy, and the best part is on the other side of the liner, they give you a smudging brush if you wanted to smoke out the line and provide a blurred look. But either way that you decide to wear this eyeliner, it looks absolutely fabulous. So if you're not the type that likes to just put orange eyeliner on, you can always add a neutral on the lid to tone it down a little bit and that will make it more wearable. But these smoke liners, great quality. Even if you don't like the orange, they have a variety of colors to choose from. I was just floored to see an orange eyeliner <laughs> like this because I hadn't seen one in so long. Now perhaps one of the easiest ways to incorporate peach into your makeup routine is to apply it to the cheeks. So I have a number of cream blushes, powder blushes to recommend to you. The first one being this one from Maybelline. It's their Fit Me blush. Now I picked up the wrong color, unfortunately. That's what happens when you shop with kids. Ooh. Anyway, I ended up getting the coral shade, which if you apply it lightly to the skin, it does pull peach, but they do also have a peach shade that I wanted to mention to you that is really beautiful on the skin. That was the one I was meaning to get, but nonetheless, still a beautiful color also. Milani's Luminoso, the most popular peach shade in the drugstore, hands down. This is still available. It's been around for years. You probably have it in your collection already, but this is another great one if you would like to participate in the peach trend right now. From Clinique, now I know this is not drugstore, but I wanted to mention it because they have a number of really great blushes in their line also if you want to spend a little bit more. Clinique has this one called Melon Pop, which is absolutely beautiful against the skin. They also have one called Peach Pop. I could not find my Peach Pop. I don't know where I put it, but the Melon Pop and the Peach Pop interchangeably look beautiful and will provide 
that peach look. Next one I have to share with you is L'Oreal's True Match Blush in the shade Innocent Flush. I did see this one in Walmart just the other day. I almost purchased it, but then I remembered, wait a minute, wait a minute, I think I have this already at home. I'm glad I did not buy it because yes, I did already have it and I've had it for years. So it's nice to see that you can still get this blush. Absolutely one of my favorites. <laughs> Probably not the best thing to show you about the blush, but hey, it's well loved and one I'm going to continue to use. Another one that I wanted to share with you is from the e.l.f. brand and this is part of their duo, I forgot what these were called, these little guys. The ones where you had the blush on one side and the highlighter on the other, it was like their duo face palettes or something like that. But this one in the shade White Peach is such a beautiful way to incorporate this color into your makeup looks. The other one I want to mention from e.l.f. that is not available anymore, but you might already have, is their Modern Metals face palette. Now within this palette, there were highlighters and blushes, and on the end is that gorgeous peach blush. And this is highly pigmented and such a beautiful shade and a great one also for the peach fuzz trend. Additionally, let's talk about Profusion. They have these Blush Hour Soft Matte Liquid Blushes. The shade that I'm showing you here is Mai Tai. I love these. They are fabulous. If you have more mature skin, if you have dry skin, these are some of the best cream blushes at a highly affordable price point. They blend easily, they look gorgeous against the skin, and they don't fade. And this is such a beautiful peach. It's one of my absolute favorites. The other one I wanted to mention to you is from Flower, and that's the Blush Bomb in the shade Nectar. This is another one that, like the Profusion liquid blush, blends out real easily. It's very easy to apply. It looks amazing on a variety of different skin tones and textures, and it's one that I would highly recommend. Another liquid blush to recommend to you is from LA Girl. This is their Soft Matte Cream Blush in the shade Cutie. When you first take this one out of the tube, it doesn't look peach, but when you apply it on the skin, you can see the peach tones really shine through with this one. And it's a creamy blush that does not fade, is very easy to blend in, and it's a very, very pigmented blush too, by the way. So if you happen to apply it too much, which is the case for me usually, you can always take a little bit of foundation and go over it to blend it out. But this is another one that is absolutely stunning on the skin. And the last blush that I want to share with you is one from a brand called Juicy Pang. This was a brand that I found on Amazon a couple years ago, and I don't know what the shade name is. It just says Jelly Blusher CR01. But this is a gorgeous peach, and it's got a very interesting texture to it. It's almost like a powder and a mousse in one and possibly a cream. It's just got a very interesting texture, and it's one that I find myself using sporadically. Every time I find it in my drawer, I'm like, oh, who would use that? But I love this. So I just redid my hair today. <laughs> I've had a lot of questions recently on what hair color I'm using, so if you're interested in what this is, I will have it listed for you in the description box below. It's a strawberry blonde shade that I found from Sally Beauty, but didn't come out as blonde as I would have liked. Oh, so, but I still like the color. I think it's a pretty red. Moving on to lipstick. Lipstick, this is another really excellent way to participate in the peach trend. If you find that peach lipsticks look fabulous on you, now they don't look fabulous on everyone. <laughs> Some people can wear them. Some people cannot. You have to go with what works for you. I mean, you really do. And some peach shades, even on me, are kind of like, oh, that was not a good choice. And there's a couple in here that I don't really care for anymore, but I'm gonna mention them anyway, just in the event that someone else might like them. So the first one is from L'Oreal. This is called Peach Fuzz. This is a shimmery lipstick, a little metallic looking on the lips, very pretty. So that's that one. The other one, I don't know if this is still available anymore, but it's in my collection and it might be in yours, so I wanted to mention it. Wet n Wild's Peach Please. This is a lighter peach. And if it were me, if I were to wear this one, I would mix it with more of a mauve lip liner. So if you find that any peach shades that I'm sharing with you today are like, oh, I don't know, that's a really light peach. Just remember, you can always mix shades with lip liners to darken them or match your skin tone better. That's 
usually what I will do. Another one I wanted to share with you is CoverGirl's Caramel Kiss. This is the one that I'm wearing in today's video. I just happened to leave it on after I was filming that B-roll footage for you there. I rather like this one more than I thought that I would, and yeah, it's a pretty color. The other one I wanted to mention to you was a longtime favorite of mine for years and years and years. Still love it. I've bought so many of these because it's such a great shade. And that's NYX's Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. What I love about this one is I can apply it over my bare lips. It emphasizes the color slightly but does give a peach hue. Or this is the one that you can just apply directly over any lipstick that you have to make it more of a peachy shade. And so I really like that about this lips lip gloss, I guess we could call it. Flower Beauty's Peachy Nude. Now this is one that is a little too light for me. I don't really care for this one for myself anymore, but if I mix it with a mauve lip liner, then it looks really nice. But I did want you to see the true color of it. If you're into nude shades and you can rock a color like this, then absolutely it's a beautiful peach to incorporate into your looks. I also want to mention this one from NYX's Butter Lipstick line. This is the shade Lollies. Again, it's another one that's a little too light for me, but it's a beautiful shade nonetheless. And the last one that I have to share with you is one that's been my all-time favorite for years and years and years and years. I've probably replaced this one at least five times because it's just a great shade. And it's one that I still will wear to this day, and that's Max Shy Girl. This is a beautiful peach. I would consider more of a neutral peach and it looks great across so many different complexions and skin tones. It's a mica! It's a mica, it's a mica, oh, it's a mica. Hey, let's make sure my phone number is not showing on your tag there. <laughs> He's getting big, isn't he? My goodness, do you remember when this little guy was just a little bitty guy? He's just getting big. Poor Gia, man, she can't even hold him anymore. <laughs> She was saying the other day, he's getting so heavy. I'm like, I know he used to be such a little squirt squirt and now he's not. Well, I hope that you found this helpful today. If you are interested in anything that I shared, I will have everything listed and linked for you below in the description box. Feel free to share your peach makeup recommendations. I would love to hear which colors you are wearing right now. And let me know if you want to participate in this color trend or not. I know it's not for everybody, but would love to hear your feedback on this topic. I speak love, peace, and joy into you and into your home. I'm wishing you a beautifully blessed weekend ahead and look forward to seeing you again next week. Yes, I will be here next week because my break is over and it's time to get back to work. So I'll see you then.